several people in the chat, gentlemen, that are saying that soy is associated with cancer risk. And so uh, our own audience, our own live audience has given us an actual myth to dispel. Let's attack this. Yeah, so uh, the concerns arise from the fact that uh, soy contains these isoflavones, these flavonoid compounds that are sometimes uh, or often called phytoestrogens. This is because they have certain structural characteristics that are similar to estrogen. And because of that, they can interact with estrogen receptors in our body. Now, people take that to mean that, hey, these phytoestrogens therefore have estrogenic effects. And it's not that simple. Uh, for one, they preferentially bind to certain types of receptors in our body that have different effects in different parts of the body. In breast tissue, they have anti-estrogenic effects. So they actually do the opposite of what estrogen would. And that is why, or one of the reasons why, in the long-term uh, cohort studies that we see where people are actually consuming uh, soy products daily or almost daily versus those who are occasionally or never consuming soy, we see a reduction in breast cancer risk. So if anything, soy is protective. And this is recognized by the American Cancer Society, by the Canadian Cancer Society,